Sorry, my vlog cut off um, due to my alarm going off. But yeah, so with this one, I will have a sweet tea. I will have, you know, a ginger ale every now and then. Um, but I'm not completely deprived of myself. My doctor was happy with I, with me being um, the negative two pounds because they considered me obese, um, you know, before I got pregnant because my current weight now with the negative two pounds is 208. I was 210 before I got pregnant um, with this baby. Um, so yeah. Mama's a thickum, so um, I'm currently at, well at my 16 week appointment. I was currently 208. I will find out today when I go to the doctor what my weight gain has been, and I'll let you guys know in the 18 week vlog. Um, week 17, um, just um, yeah, week 16 was just basically the doctor's appointment. Um, here in baby's heart rate, which I have a Doppler at home, so I monitor it just about every other day, or if not every night. Um, and it tends to stay in the 147 to 155, 56 range. Um, I think the lowest has been is like 147, but it's typically around 152, 155 um, for the heart rate. Um, let me see what else was there in week 16. Uh, I think that was pretty much it for week 16. Week 17, I started to get heartburn. Um, I had to go by Tums um, to start with taking those um, already. Um, I got heartburn really bad with Nathaniel, so I'm just starting to get it with this one. The indigestion that I had is um, slowly gone away, but my appetite has not picked up. I noticed that I graze a lot more now. Um, I can't eat big meals um, like I used to. I can only eat about half my meal and then I'm full and then I, you know, don't want anything else. I'll put it away, but in an hour later I'm starving and I have to eat again. So I have realized that I'm a grazer now and that I will be grazing um, throughout this pregnancy. You know, just nibbling a little bit here and there, um, which is, you know, fine by me. I'm not getting overly stuffed because I don't like the feeling of it. Um, I have started to wear my maternity clothes. I pulled out my maternity pants and I went to motherhood and got a few maternity shirts. Um, I am wearing the maternity clothes I wore with Nathaniel when I was, um, almost due with him. Um, and they fit, you know, I still have room to grow into them, but I just pulled those out. I didn't go buy like any smaller maternity pants or clothes or anything because they fit. Um, because obviously I'm bigger than when I first got pregnant with Nathaniel. Um, but yeah, but that is it. So, sorry if this vlog was uneventful, but week 15, 16, and 17 were pretty much uneventful for me. Other than us packing up our house, selling it, and moving, and doing that with a two-year-old is kind of hard because we have to explain to him where all his toys have been, why we're leaving mommy's house, um, and... We've kind of explained to him the transition, and we've explained to him that, you know, he's going to get a new house today, and that when he comes home from school, that he'll have a new house with a huge yard, and, you know, lots of space to play in, and a bigger room. Um, so he seems really, really excited, so we're excited for that. Um, but it, it was hard, and it was hard to leave behind our first home, because we started so many memories there. We started our, you know, we started our life there together, based, well... We'd already been married when we were in our town home, um, but we started, that was our first house. We started our life with Nathaniel there. We found out we were pregnant there after wanting a child for so long and trying for so long. Um, he, you know, he was born while we were living there. He said his first words, he took his first steps. He got to see his first snow and crawl in it. He got a slide down the hill for the first time, you know, in that place. So. It's a lot of great memories that I miss, but I'm excited to start the new ones at the new place. And I know that this is for the best and is better for him. He has more yard space to run around and play in, more space to be a boy. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much it for this vlog. Ladies, I guess you can cast your votes on this vlog on what you think this baby will be. Because we will know by the end of the day. I will give you a belly shot now. But mind you, this is an 18... 18 week belly. So, yeah, this is an 18, 18 week, what's today, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, my day switch over on Sunday, 18 week, five day belly. Um, and this is only a week, 
15, 16, 17 pregnancy vlog. Um, and I, my week 18 will follow after this. But let me guys know if you have any questions. Mwah. All right, ladies, it's your girl Angel 515 2010. And today is going to be a little bit of a different setting. Um, only because if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you know that we are kind of in transition right now. Um, today is September the 6th, 2018, and me and my husband are officially, um, buying a new home today. We sold our current home on, um, Tuesday, September 4th, and we are purchasing our new one on today on the 6th. So, we have been staying with one of my lovely friends who was gracious enough to open up her door to us, hence why I have not done any pregnancy vlogs, because the old house, um, was a mess it was boxes everywhere we were packing we were cleaning we we're doing a whole bunch of stuff so i am currently as of today 18 weeks but i will give you a rundown cap of week 15 16 and 17 and then my week 18 vlog will um be i'll start it later on today because we have a doctor's appointment today so we get to go see nugget um and find out what nugget is um i don't know if i will reveal to you guys right away what nugget is so we will see um you guys may find out you know in the vlog somehow um that i will start um for my 18 week update but let's recap weeks 15 16 and 17 as well as I will not be doing a proper belly shot because I'm 18 weeks But I will insert pictures from my week 15 16 and 17 at the end of the video like I do all my current ones um, so week 15 um, We started to feel baby baby movement I um, mean you can actually feel the baby move from the outside like I don't remember feeling the thing move this early and it could be because You know, I know what they feel like now, but my husband can feel them my coworkers feel could feel them um baby squirming a lot i feel like this baby's a lot higher than nathaniel said um the heart rate has still been good when i went for um my 16 week checkup because week 15 was pretty much uneventful other than you know starting to feel baby movement um when i went for my 16 week checkup i had lost two pounds um from my pre-pregnancy weight so i had not gained any weight this pregnancy i was actually down two pounds so i was really happy about that um Although, you know, my bump is getting bigger, I'm not actually gaining weight. Um, and I guess this is with me adjusting my diet, cutting out some of the bad things that I normally would do. Um, like sodas every day or, you know, just candy, snacks, stuff like that. Trying to be a little bit better since I'm pregnancy. Now, by no means am I depriving myself this pregnancy. You know, with Nathaniel, I cut everything out. I was just straight water, vegetables, meat, you know, like sticking by the book. This one, I'll have me a sweet tea. 